hi guys welcome to my channel in this video today i'll be doing a makeup transformation with my friend ada i hope you guys enjoy it let's go ahead and get started keep on watching up next i'm using the p louise rumor number no. four i'm going to apply that on a high lid and i'm using the mac 252 brush and the 242 brush i'm just taking my time while doing this and then tapping right on to make the base stay on and keep it dry and um just blending in everything now and up next i'm using the p louise eyeshadow the secret sinner palette i'm using love struck climax and dreamy i'm applying the brown shade right on the crease i really like to take my time in very circular motion just tapping that right in there and i'm using a clean brush and just blending out the edges so that you don't see any harsh lines then i'm going in with dreamy and just putting right that on the crease and then i like to just take my time when doing this and just working it very lightly and circular motion and up next i'm applying climax right above dreamy and just blending that right on then i'm going back with the same colors I usually go back twice with my colors just to make the eyes pop a bit more and to make it stand out as much as possible so now I'm just blending out that brown shade right on my crease and then go back with dreamy and climax and now I'm just gonna go ahead and cut my crease and I'm doing a half cut crease. I like to take my time when doing this because I like to make it very perfect and look really nice. And I'm using MAC 242 brush. Up next, I'm using the Makeup Addiction Sinful Eyes, and I'm using the black um, shade. I'm just gonna pack that right on my crease, and also I like to just bring it right in the socket of my crease, and um, this is just gonna help it pop a little bit more. And then I'm using the P. Louis Pigments. I use Goldasm, but then I realized that I use Popping Candy. But um, on the other eyes, so I went ahead and add popping candy on both eyes, but one just seemed a bit more. But anyways, you guys are going to see what I mean. And up next, I'm using the Inglot um, eyeliner in 77 just to line my eyes. And I'm bringing that right into the black color on the side. Then up next, I'm using the MAC Fin Line Eyeliner, just applying that on my waterline. Then I'm going with the base and just applying that right underneath my eyes. I like to do this first before I apply my um, eyeshadow. Then I'm just setting the Fin Line Eyeliner with Urban Decay Blackout. And now I'm just going back with the same colors I used on my crease and I'm just blending that right underneath my eyes. And I'm going in with my mascara, I'm using MAC mascara. And I'm using Kina Lashes. Um, this is like a bundle but they have really really great lashes and um, it really really pops really nicely and I have a discount code I'll leave everything down below and up next I'm using Laura Mercier oil free lotion I like to use this for oily skin it's quite good and it keeps makeup really nice and I'm going to go in with the oil free primer also from Laura Mercier
Then I'm going with the MAC um, concealer palette and I'm using the orange color to color correct any blemishes or any dark circle around the mouth area. Then I'm using the MAC Foundation Match Master in NC50. And the brush I'm using is the NYX Foundation Brush. I like to bring my foundation down to my neck. And also I'm using the Jouer Concealer in Rich Ginger. The great thing I like about this concealer is creamy and it gives you a really nice coverage. And I'm just blending that with a damp beauty blender. Then I'm going in with the foundation brush that I used earlier just to blend out any lines between the concealer and the foundation. This gives you like a nice smooth finish. And up next I'm going in with the MAC Skin Finish Powder just to set the concealer. And I'm using, I think, NC55. Up next, I'm going with the Studio Fix Powder in NC58 to um, kind of give her a nice contour. I like using the powder to really give that nice definition. Then I'm going with the Huda Beauty Setting Powder in Blondie. This is just to set the concealer a bit more and give you like that nice finish and give that eye like a really nice popping look. <laughs> And I just like to use that powder and just go right on my side. It's gonna give that nice cut on the side to help the contour stand out a bit more. Then I'm just going back a bit with the powder now and just dusting off the setting powder. I really don't keep my setting powder in that long. I just set, um, bake and just dust everything off. Then I go in with the Maria Badescu facial spray to set the powder to make it look very nice and matte. And then up next I'm going in with the brow pencil and I believe I'm using Anastasia. And then I'm going in again with Anastasia deep brow gel to set the brows. And I'm using, I believe, dark brown. And up next, I'm using the MAC blush. I forgot what shade this is. But I'll leave everything down below. Up next, I'm using the Anastasia Soul Hollywood um, highlighter. This is like my favorite highlighter right now. So, so good. Then I like to go over that with the Kiko eyeshadow in 235. I use that with um, as a highlighter also. It's really good for highlighting and it gives like that melanin skin a bit of golden. Up next, I'm lining out the lip with uh, MAC Chestnuts. I like this pencil because it's like brown, like a nice brown shade and it's good for like almost all skin tone. Up next, I'm using the NYX Lingerie Corset to give like a nice nude lips with this look. I like to use my brush for this to blend out the pencil together with the lipstick. Then I'm going to top it off with the P. Louise Hollow Gloss. Mm -hmm. 
And then up next, I'm setting it with the Studio Fix spray. And that's it guys. I hope you like this look. Very beautiful. This is great for like if you're going out to a wedding or any occasion or even prom. Then I hope you guys enjoy. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and kindly subscribe to my channel down below. Thanks guys. Bye.